Welcome to Reflecting Light. This podcast is about feeling the world with light by exploring myth, ancient texts, scripture, great works of world literature, and the works of artists, past and present, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And now, here is your host, Mandy Green. Hello and welcome to Reflecting Light, my amazing, beautiful people. Hi. I'm just so excited to talk to you today. I just got back from the Laney concert last night. We went in honor of my son, who is out serving the people of Taiwan and was unable to go. And it really was such an amazing event. I'm so grateful for the arts. I'm so grateful for the opportunity we have to interface with them. We've become so into being entertained rather than being a participant with the arts. And that's why I love the humanities. The fine arts require something from us. They want us to engage, to participate, to sing along, to follow, to be swept away. And that's the beauty of live performance, or that's the beauty of seeing a work of art in person or hearing or dancing or whatever it is, you're required as someone there as a participant in the audience, which is so different than sitting in front of a screen and consuming entertainment. So I'm grateful even more so than I perhaps would have been a few years ago for the opportunity to be in a venue, in an arena with thousands of other people, sold out show, Salt Lake City, thank you, and be a participant in the arts, to engage, to sing, to dance, to stomp my feet, to just take it all in. And so, you know, this Christmas season that's coming up, please go be part of something, Go be a participant with the arts, and it will feed you. It will fill your soul. So what I wanted to talk about today is comes from one of Lainey's songs that's become a theme song for my son, Indiana, who's really, he's one of my heroes. His superpower is his positivity. And as he's been out there, COVID has really done a real number and people are very scared and people are very fearful of foreigners. And so where he might have been received really warmly previously, that is not the case that he's finding. In fact, he finds that as he drives his bike along these thousands of mopeds and stops at a light, his whole goal is to tell someone to have a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful day. And he said, He doesn't know a lot of the swear words used, but the usual response is go home or you don't belong here. And as a parent, you can imagine how heartbreaking that is for me to hear. And his response is always, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And actually before the concert, I had quoted a part of the song that I will share with you. Like a flower in the concrete so beautiful and rare. You gave me hope when I was empty, walked me through the fire. You were there. I know that that young man and all of these other amazing representatives of Jesus Christ are flowers in the concrete, beautiful and rare. More so, I know that all of you out there are also something so beautiful and rare. And your gifts are unique in your combination of personality and gifts and talents and weaknesses and flaws and idiosyncrasies is all part of this amazing, beautiful package that is you. And I've come to love this word, you. The title of that song is You! Exclamation mark. And it was the encore song. And of course, it's the song for today. I'm begging you, if you listen to any song for the podcast this year, you've got to listen to this song. Crank it up. If you can feel the bass and hear the children's choir come in and just feel heaven smiling down on you, 
then you're doing it right. Earbuds probably need several listens through. I find when I get a song I really like, I tend to repeat it probably way too many times, a trait I get from my brother Dustin, who virtually killed the song Wild Wild West by Escape Club. But I digress. Anyway, you are a magnificent masterpiece made from our God the Mother and our God the Father and their own unique, beautiful combination of wit and wisdom and knowledge and zaniness and beauty and artistry and life and knowledge and everything good. In more primary terms, let's quote Dr. Seuss. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. That is, that's the word right there, word. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. No one is you, and that is your superpower. That's what Brian Ford wrote in his blog, October 2019. Let me say that again. No one is you, and that is your superpower. That's what makes you a super quote, The Incredibles. You're all supers. So I would just, I just want to send you all this love and light and encouragement to just be yourself, to be beautifully and uniquely yourself without apology, without worry, without concern about how it comes across or how you have to temper yourself to be around other people. If other people don't love how you shine, Maybe you need to be with your true people, (laughs) your truest people. So I'm just thinking about this beautiful human boy out there in the middle of this island, telling people to have a wonderful day, giving people love, sharing his heart in spite of how it's received, in spite of the reaction to it. He is being you. Indy has a ginormous heart. And people with big hearts like that probably feel pain in greater degrees than maybe some some others of us. I remember even his pediatrician told me that he'll feel pain much more deeply than others, but he will also feel the accompanying joy much more higher in, in much higher degrees. So if you're one of those people, you just be you. You feel it. You let it come in. And you be you. So let me quote this song. And I'm thinking about some of the amazing people I know that maybe don't feel like they're noticed or they maybe don't feel like their gifts or their contribution is valuable, but it is. My my dear friend Trudy is a police officer. She's a woman. She's out here saving the world, busting up crime. Trudy, you're beautiful. You're you and you matter. I'm thinking of my friend Jody Naranjo, who works in this home and just encourages people and is so gentle with them. On Facebook, she leaves these great little stories about this young girl and her mom that she's befriended, that she sees every morning on her drink run, and how she's able to share love and light with this girl. Jody also gave me her brand new copy of Heavy Metal Ballads, brand new, unopened, in the parking lot. I still owe her volume two still working on that mix. It's going to be epic. I'm thinking of Indiana. I'm thinking of of my friend Katie, who's a teacher and administrator and is understanding that we have these huge mental and emotional needs that need to be taught in the schools. Just so many people who have these beautiful gifts to bring to the world and they bring them and they are themselves and they reflect light and love. And I'm grateful for those who are youer than you and true to that you. This this song, this podcast goes out to all of you. And let me read you the words of this song. Like water in the desert, impossible to find. You found me when I was broken, put me back together, gave me life. Like a flower in the concrete, so beautiful and rare. You gave me hope when I was empty, walked me through the fire, you were there. You're the sun to the moon, you're my ocean painted blue, you, I'm nothing without you. 
Like an angel in a nightmare, you opened up my eyes. Looking in all the wrong places, you're the one I needed this whole time. You're the sun to the moon. You're my ocean painted blue. You, I'm nothing without you. You're the light in the dark. You're the arrow through my heart. You're the air in my lungs. You're the veins to my blood. Yeah, you. I'm nothing without you. Of course, in that song, I see and sense these huge divine threads of heavenly parents looking down. Those are some very Egyptian symbols of the sun god Ra, right? The light and life of the universe. And Newt with her big starry belly, the light and the dark, the ocean painted blue, the great deep, the one who oversees us and has us in her cradling embrace all the time. Of course, we're nothing without them. And their work and glory is you, you in your uniquely beautiful divine form, you as your truest self, clearly, clearly the gods value diversity and variance and all of these gorgeous things that you see reflected in the natural world. Had they wanted similarness and sameness, we would live in a very, very different world. So please remember that for yourself. Steve Maraboli said, There's nothing more rare nor more beautiful than a woman being unapologetically herself, comfortable in her perfect imperfection. To me, that is the true essence of beauty. Of course, this goes both ways. A man who is truly himself true to himself, is wildly beautiful as well. It has nothing to do with shape or size or skin color or hairdos or makeup or clothes or anything like that. It has to do with you being most truly yourself and letting that light shine that others may see your good works and glorify the Elohim who are in heaven. There was a meme on Instagram this week that said, we won't be distracted by comparison if we're captivated with purpose. May your purpose this week be to be so gloriously you that hopefully those comparison thoughts don't even creep in. But if they do, maybe just put up Dr. Seuss or put on Lainey or look in the mirror and say, gosh darn it, people like me just like Jack Candy. Listen to the song. I'll put it in the show notes. And just smile. Just be you. And also, I think by being most authentically ourselves, we're able to better see others as in their beauty and in their lives. And just pay attention to maybe someone. Yesterday, I dropped off a return at a warehouse. And those ladies were so kind to me with absolutely no reason to be. And I was so grateful. I'm going to have to take them chip or something, but I'm just grateful for things that seem so ordinary, but that are done with people being kind and loving and divine and you. And so you are a flower in the concrete. You're beautiful and rare. And we're all here to help each other through this beautiful, crazy struggle called life. Go out and interact with the arts and be yourself. Wishing you lots of love and light. Thank you for joining us for Reflecting Light with Mandy Green. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a good rating and share it with your friends. And remember, your light makes the world a brighter place. Share it.